There is superstitious writings on the wall. Very superstitious ladders about to fall. It's October and it is California Writers Week coincides with our monthly meeting. Oh, by the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm Judy M. Baker, president of Redwood Writers. And our group is the largest chapter of the California Writers Clubs. Our board, our fabulous team of volunteers is here to serve you on your journey to become better writers, more productive, more profitable, and certainly more connected. The NorCal Council of the Clubs got together on the 24th of September. So we're just freshly back from that leadership conference where we got to meet with other members like ourselves, other volunteers who are presidents, treasurers, vice presidents, secretaries, membership chairs, so that we could share ideas about how to serve our members better and bring more value to you in each and every chapter. I'll give you more details in our next newsletter so that you know what we discovered by being together. But for you, in October, Jill Lublin is our speaker on the third Saturday of the month, and she'll be with us in person. So come to the Finley Center so that you can meet with us, meet your fellow writers, and if you've got a book, for sale, bring it with you. That's one of the perks of membership. That's right. You can bring your books and sell them in the room. But better yet, coming together at the monthly meetings, you not only get to learn, but people get to meet you. You get to meet your fellow members, our speakers, and guests. Wow, where else can you come and be in a group that is this supportive? Please pay attention to what is coming next from our website. You can always see when events are, who's coming to speak, contests, if there are opportunities for you to volunteer, or if you've got questions, put them into chat at groups.io. That's another member benefit. But I started off by saying California Writers Week. Well, that became a way to celebrate writers. And it was first started in a way to honor Jack London who just happens to have a park named after him very close to me in Glen Ellen. We are going to be having a celebration of California Writers Week and stay tuned for exactly what that's going to look like. But we are going to do something special at the meeting in October. Now, I told you one of the benefits of being a member is being able to sell your books at the meetings. Some other things to think about each month at the live meetings, there will be time for Q&A. If you've got a tip you'd like to share, let us know because you may be able to demonstrate it in front of the entire group. And we're going to continue having opportunities for those who are present in the room to win something special and valuable for you as writers. So keep coming to the room. And in November, Stacy Ennis will be coming to us remotely, 
but she'll be on the big screen for you to see. And she's going to be sharing her wisdom from her years as a location independent professional, as a writer. And I think it's something you don't want to miss because Stacy is known all around the world for her talent and wisdom. In December, it's not too early to start thinking about a costume because we have a costume party as part of our December meeting and it's going to be fabulous. There'll be prizes plus we're going to have a regular presentation and it's all about memoir. So I want you to join us live in the room every month. But remember, you want to get your costume ready to roll because I'm going to be a hard act to beat. If you don't know, I happen to have won the costume contest in 2022. And I've already got my costume in progress for this year as well. In the coming year, well, we're going to have the Prose Anthology launch. Mara Johnston has been working diligently editing away along with her team of editors to get our sci-fi fun fiction book put together. So it should be available for you in January or maybe a little earlier. We'll see about that, but we'll keep you posted. And always check the website for the latest and greatest news and information. If you've got questions, we're going to start doing Q&A like we did in September well, not exactly like we did in September, but we're going to have a portion of each meeting where we have Q&A from the audience that can be about anything related to writing, publishing, and marketing your books. Sound good? Oh, another reason to come in October. The winner of the essay contest will be announced. And thank you, Jan Rowley, for everything that you did to get us ready for the essay contest, dropping nuggets of wisdom all along, coordinating one of the best workshops ever. And we're going to continue on in 2024 with even bigger and better opportunities for you as a writer to share what you're writing and about your writing. So in Groups I.O., which is a member benefit, you can post questions. You can tell, tell all of us about what's coming up for you. If you're doing an event and you want to invite Redwood writers, let us know. And if you've got a short statement of something that's happening and you can get it in by the 15th of the month prior, it can go into the newsletter and you want to reach out to Chrissy Langwell, our newsletter editor. If you're not already familiar, on our website, there is a navigation bar at the top, and you'll see you can contact any of the board members and chairs right through the website. So this October, California Writers Week, Jill Lublin's coming, November, Stacey Ennis is our speaker. In December, we've got a regular meeting, which is all about memoir, plus our costume extravaganza. So those are just some of the things that are coming up. And I want to say I am so thrilled to be part of Redwood Writers, to being your hostess with the mostess at each of the meetings. And mark your calendars for, but next year, yep, it is, October 19th is our 2024 Writers Conference. 
and Sean Langwell is taking the helm again. So we're already starting work on that project. So looking for a prose anthology editor for 2024. Now there are a couple of you who may have already gotten a phone call from me. And if it's you, I hope that you already said yes, but just in case, we not only need an editor in chief, and it can be two people, not just one, just like Chrissy and Sean shared the responsibilities. We will be looking for a team of judges, editors, along with our editor or editors in chief. One of the benefits of being the editor or editors in chief is you get to coordinate the theme and the cover. And if that isn't enough incentive, just think about it. Just like with our poetry anthology, your name goes on the book and you get extra juice in Amazon for your name. Now, who doesn't want to be a little bit famous? So please participate, show up, ask questions. Tell us as board members what you want. We'll do our best to accommodate you. And oh my goodness, if you have published a book this year, you'll soon see we're going to be asking you if you want to be part of author launch in 2024. But you must be a member to participate. So thanks so much, Judy M. Baker, your president. I'm just part of the party. And don't be superstitious. Show up, be generous, be kind, and remember... Redwood Writers is all about writers supporting writers. Thanks so much.